hi friends today we are going to see how to build a simple calculator using visual studio 2022 so like how you are seeing in the screen we will be building a small simple calculator with basic arithmetic operations divide multiply subtract addition and you will have a same calculator feel which a windows calculator has so let us see how we can build this application using Visual Studio. Let us open a Visual Studio. I am opening a new project. Visual Basic Windows and Desktop, same as last application. Let's keep it as a simple calculator. And I'll keep my repository location always as EVB not I'm keeping the framework as it is and creating it. The form is being created. It's getting loaded. So the form is loaded, guys. Uh, so first step we need to uh, build a same similar application like windows that's what our aim is so let us reduce it to that size first then place uh, buttons which are required say like uh, first would be a ce button i'm just renaming it as ce i'm just shape changing the shape to square so that uh, it looks predominant next I'm copying it and I'm pasting it this will be C and then a backspace and then a divide so this divide uh, it's normally not in the keyword actually so either you can use a slash or a divide i'll change it to divide later on because that i need to import it from a symbol you can do it from a node otherwise i'll show you right now just open any application of windows means uh, any word or excel or something and try inserting an object symbol so here you have more symbols in this you will be able to find the divide symbol here you go just insert it so it will insert as a character just copy it And then bring it to the Visual Studio and place it on the caption text. And remove the slash. So now you get the divide object. This is one way of getting it. You have other ways as well. So, but this is simpler. Okay, I'm adjusting the form to the closest version. So I'm just copying another button. Now I'll make it as seven. Just try um, replicating the same keyboard numericals in the same format. So seven, eight, nine comes in the keyboard first. In the next row, you have four. And then. Five, and then you have six, and then you have one, and then you have two, and then three. So I've just placed all the numbers in the calculator. Now I need the 
operators I want to please divide so I need multiply now multiply I'm using X I'm not using a star symbol and then I'm placing a minus and then I'm placing a plus okay in the last row I'm placing a dot because we need decimals as well right and then I'm placing a zero then I'm placing a button for equal to which I'll kind of merge for two columns which will have this equal to like this so it is predominant and visible okay so this should not be sizable first of all otherwise it will look odd right so we need to remove these so i'll just remove i'll just i'll just make this as fix set single then i'll minimize i'll remove the minimize button i'll remove the maximize button as well maximize and minimize button so now you have only the simple form okay now uh, we need a text box to see what our figures we type in right so i'll place a text box here so i'll just drag it to the this last and this last and i'll make the size of this text box as more so that it is much more visible i'll adjust it so that it's easy okay and uh, i can even increase more and make it a 16 okay and i need one more text box to store the history so i'll just place it here okay we'll make some changes to that because it is upfront visible right it shouldn't be like that so i'm just making it as 12 okay but it will be less visible okay so i need to change the fix it 3d so i'll make it as none okay at the same time i'll make the appearances transparent transparent doesn't work here back away. border style is done to make this transparent it's already white right so i'll make this form as white okay already we have removed the side uh, border so now the form is alone in little bit uh, dark color so i'm just making it as white so now if you run it you won't be able to see the this thing okay so i'll just rename the form name as calculator just change the property of the form as well so that it is written bit uh, better make it as fix and then so just run and see how it looks like so it looks like this okay the font looks a little bit smaller so i will increase the font now Just select all the buttons like this and all at a stretch you can just change the font size you don't have to individually change the fonts manually okay so now we have all the fonts I think now it's a little bit visible easier okay now I'll just change the color of these buttons for the operators only. I'll just change it to somewhere like gold, like I have shown in the thumbnail. Yeah. 
okay this is four color sorry it should be black black color only i have to change so now that i'll change this gold this also you can select and change it in one stretch like this it will save time so change the colors of these okay i'll change the color of this as well okay this i'll change it as blue i like blue that's why I'll make something in dark shades of blue. Okay. So now these buttons, everything is in place. Now we need to code it. The front end is only this much. Okay. But I will do some more things like I change the text name. Okay. I'm changing the name of the text box. So I'm just keeping txt underscore previous okay and this is txt underscore current i will tell you why what is the reason behind this okay and this is history but this will be our current typing box right so these two text boxes have to be in read only mode so that is also required so i'll just change that property true okay here also we don't need true or we can make it as disabled as well and just do disabled for this so if you make read only true the color will change okay so you need to make adjustments accordingly I'll just change the custom color as something like this. Okay. <clears throat> so these two we have renamed. Okay. And these also we need to rename. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to uh, guess what button number it is to while coding. Okay. So what I will do is B T N button. Okay. Underscore C. This is B T and underscore c and this is dtn underscore bp backspace otherwise i will write it as backspace this dtn underscore divide okay because it cannot accept symbols right so this btn underscore and we are multiply okay this is btn underscore min and this is btn underscore add this we can make it as suv i guess suv will be better subtract this is multiply this is divide this is add okay this is equal to right so btn underscore EQ okay. EQ Q U A sorry my keyboard did not type it okay this is button number seven BT underscore seven numeric it can accept so I'm just placing it as BT BT underscore that number eight okay so this BT underscore nine just be, be careful on the numbers which you type if you wrongly type it it will make lead to mistakes instead of four if you type five we might think it is five it will go as four then this is bt underscore five so just cross check once or twice before doing this completing btn underscore one this will be btn underscore two this will be btn underscore 
okay and this btn underscore dot and this btn underscore zero so guys so we have finished the front end part designing is over naming renaming is over you can rename the form as well but it's not necessary we usually rename it but if you want you can rename it if you rename this you need to change it in some other place as well because uh, it will affect the base code of the usual studio so just be careful while renaming this other things you can rename but form alone you need to do in two places okay let us start coding this okay 